you thinking of redesigning your kitchen? Maybe to give it a more homey feel where you can not only cook but entertain your friends or spend time with your family as well. Today we will be getting some tips on how we can remodel our kitchen to make it more cozy but still functional with Modern Living TV's in-house designer, G. Pambid. The kitchen is the heart of the home. And for most people, especially those who cook, it can be the busiest place in the house. The kitchen has evolved though. Gone are the days that the kitchen is just a room where people prepare and cook their food. Today, the kitchen is already part of the grand interior design of things. And as such, the kitchen is also governed by design trends. We are now at the showroom of Eggersman La Cornu for the latest in kitchens and kitchen designs. This is Modern Living TV. We are now here with Mr. Archie Nakpil, who is the manager of Eggersman La Cornu and who happens to also be an interior designer. Welcome to Modern Living TV, Archie. Thank you, Sergi. My first question is, what would be the best layout possible to make the kitchen not just beautiful but functional as well? We need to establish an efficient work triangle. It consists of your cooking area, your washing area, and your storage area. And how would we establish here the working triangle? In this layout, you'd be able to see the cooking area in the middle with the support of the washing area on the side. Now, what about in terms of, like, let's say, design? What's special about this kitchen is that every uh, La Cournot Chateau kitchen is customized one-to-one -one per client's order. You can customize the worktop, the ovens, the colors, and the trims. Would you say that that is a trend now in kitchen design, customizing the work areas? Yes, it, it's more of making it more personal. What we do as kitchen designers now is to collaborate with the end user. Aside from the efficient work triangle, we try to tailor fit the kitchen environment based on how they cook. In this case, we have of course the stove and then above it would be the range hood. Do you believe that every stove should actually have a range hood above it? It is a necessity. It should be one per kitchen. This accessory, I see that this is actually becoming a trend in kitchens. This one is a, a multi-purpose rail. You can hang in towels, you can hang in your um, ladders and other stuff for easy access when you use it. So it, it's very flexible, so it's multifunctional. So that now, of course, would be merging the beauty of the kitchen as well as the function of the kitchen. Now, my personal motto in life is you can never have too much storage space, especially in the kitchen. And of course, behind me, we have a very well-organized storage system or pantry system in the kitchen. And this is actually my dream to have this kind of storage system in my kitchen. So, Archie, what do we have? Um, we have here um, on display is our pantry solution. Now, aside from the rotisserie, is there anything else that we can incorporate within the pantry? Use an, an oven. An oven, a wall oven. Yeah, a steamer, okay. coffee maker, a microwave, all built in within your pantry. Within the pantry system. Cabinet. So, not only is it, of course, going to save on space, but at the same time, you have again another unique attraction in your, in your kitchen. So, what do we have inside the cabinets? This is our standard cabinet system. It comes with the standard shelves that can be adjusted accordingly based on the height requirement. So this is this is very nifty. So it's a pull out. It's a pull out it's a pull organizer. Out. And it's very light. And notice also diba, that this is a vertical pantry. I want this for my, my own. Uh, I, I have a lot of food items, so... This one is all, also part of your storage, but this one conceals your fridge. Okay. Uh, we opted for for a built-in unit, which uses, utilizes the same door as your cabinets, and it hides your ref. We have, of course, all these very, very large storage units beneath the rotisserie. This one is a pull-out unit that is designed to hold bigger pots and pans. 
mga kaserola na to. Okay, mga kawali. Yan. So, you can again conceal everything within one cohesive design. Now, this is just, of course, one way of using your storage potential to the limit. Behind me is a very, very cool idea and unique idea on how you can conceal your storage. So if you notice, of course, to the naked eye, this looks like a mirrored wall. But behind this, of course, are loads of storage surprises. Wow. When this side conceals your um, Chinaware organizers. And then I've noticed also that it's not only a mirror in front, but also a mirror at the, at the back. So this, of course, creates also the illusion of space. Now, what is very, very interesting about this one is that, of course, it all conceals into the wall. So this is, again, a very, very unique way of hiding your storage so that, of course, all the unsightly things will be behind all these cabinets, which, of course, can be converted into mirrored walls. So if you're the type who likes working in the kitchen, or simply if you're the type who loves to cook, then your kitchen experience need not be a chaotic one. Just remember, the working triangle of the kitchen, determining your cooking area, your washing area, and of course, let us not forget the potential of very good storage. This has been Modern Living TV.